not have a recording contract. You know why? Because I suck. I just do it for me. I'm just having fun. I've been playing at the keyboard for many years. I'm not a pianist. And I don't expect anybody to come and say, hey, you know, Don? Damn, son. You've earned it. You've done it. Nobody's ever going to listen to it, but you just get one. You get a participation trophy. Don't expect that. Not at all. Yesterday, I saw a post where a lot of very angry photographers were very upset at a young man named Brooklyn for coming out with a book. They said, oh, it's because his dad's famous. Well, maybe that's part of it. They said, nepotism, oh my God, nepotism. Oh yeah, like we haven't seen nepotism before, right? President Bush, President Bush, President Clinton, almost President Clinton. Nepotism? Kennedy, 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 nepotism? Really, this is a concern of yours? Did you ever look at Hollywood? How many of those people are, are, are related to each other? Nepotism is your worry? You're just jealous. Just flat out freaking jealous. Then I see comments. Well, his pictures aren't very good. I saw two of them. You did. Well, there you go. I know a lot of people were very upset when Burberry hired him as a young person without a portfolio to speak of, without ever having carried bags for another photographer to do the Burberry um, uh, advertising campaign. They say, well, what's with that? And I think, do you even fucking understand what marketing is today? The young man had, I believe at the time, four and a half million Instagram followers. Four and a half million. That's more than MSNBC gets on most of their shows. And they, were, they get a lot of money for advertising, for running a show. That appeals to 940,000 people. This kid had four and a half million people. Of course Burberry hired him. What if his photography wasn't even that good? Of course Burberry hired him. But why get mad at him? He was offered the job. I guess he shouldn't have taken it because he never carried bags. He never did a portfolio review. He never got pain of rejection because his daddy's famous. Yeah, shut up. So his dad's famous. So what? He still had to cut it. Still had to present photographs that Burberry wanted. Yeah. They're not stupid. They brought four and a half million people to see their stuff because he had them. I guess some of these same photographers are ones going, well, this whole internet thing just doesn't, doesn't work. I don't do Instagram. Yeah, you didn't get Burberry either, <laughs> did you? No, it's just new, folks. It's a new world. You're either going to understand it or you're going to make yourself look really, really foolish, flailing around and trying to find a reason for your absolute avarice. Good for him. He's the most popular teenager on the planet. I suppose he could get offers to do a lot of things. Maybe even carry bags for some old gray-haired photographer. Gray hair. I like my gray hair. But I don't like being part of a generation that thinks everything that young people do sucks. Just doesn't. Will I buy his book? Probably not, because he doesn't speak to me. He speaks to kids 14 to 20. He's the most popular teenager on the planet. He just did a book. Meanwhile, thousands of people are upset and they've never done a book. Some art critic in England says, well, I don't think his pictures are very good. Sit on it and spin, lady. Who gives a shit? He didn't do them for you. He didn't do them to be critiqued by you. He did them for him and his followers. Welcome to the new marketing. If you don't get it, you aren't going to get anything.